Hey everybody, this quick video will show you how to get started with version 6.0 of the Logo Creator. The first thing you're going to see uh, are the logo templates. You're going to scroll forever looking at all these awesome templates and you'll be able to manipulate and play with each and every one of them. So let's find something we like. Uh, let's, let's try this one. Click it and it launches. Uh, you can resize the canvas window by clicking and dragging the window here. You can also move the window so that you can get full screen. Uh, the actual logo creator app window can also be resized. You just have to shrink and drag it. So you can click and drag the lower right hand corner, make it as big as your monitor or as small as you want. So let's move this back into place and we'll start creating, or we'll start modifying the logo that, uh, that you picked up. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and you'll notice that this is a graphic. If I click and drag it, it moves. This is the background. If I click and drag this, you'll see a button change over here. It, it, each time you click on an object, the object, you'll get a, a control panel. If you click on text, you'll get a different control panel. If you click on the background, you can manipulate the background by changing the color. Let's change it to red. All you have to do is just mess around with the sliders and, uh, and play with all the features. Here is this graphic. I'm going to click on it, and you'll notice that this changes again. So image format, I'm going to click it, and I'm going to increase the rays by just sliding this slider up a little bit more. There you go. Now, the text is a little more tricky. Uh, some templates, um, well, let, let's focus on the text here first. Here is some text. I click it, and if I want to edit it, I go to the edit button that will pop up, and I can click on, I want red, or whatever you want to say. You click on implement, and it changes the text here. Then, I return to the menu and I click on format and I can make this text bigger if I want to. And if I return to the main menu, I click on outline and I can put an outline on it. It's easy as that. I can make the outline pretty thick if I want to. I can make the outline different colors if I want to. So there's lots and lots of things to mess around with. All right, now let's change this text. Now some templates I have created uh, double layers. You'll notice that there's one layer and here's two layers. This layer has an outline, this layer doesn't. It just gives it a nice 3D effect. It's kind of my technique. Um, and I've actually created another video with different techniques that you can follow. But for now, uh, let's just change this. So I have two text pieces. One says go green, the other says go green with an outline that's behind it. So let's change the outline to red because we want to go red this time we want to change the go back to the menu we want to change the text instead of saying go green we want to say go red implement this text now notice if I click on this text it says go red if I take click on this text it says I want red back to this text now I want to change this text to the exact same thing go red. So just leave this window up and every time you click on a text it changes. Hit implement. And now this says go red as well. I can move it here. But we still want to change the color. So I'm going to go back to the menu. Colorize it. Now you'll notice some different color buttons. There's solid, there's gradient, and there's image. We'll go over image later. Gradient, you simply click on the first color gradient to change it the second color gradient to change it. Or you can click on the first color and click and drag to make different colors. So we're going to go red. This one we're going to go white. And down here, if I click again on the second text, this, do this doesn't change, but the colors are now um, going for this text piece. So I want to change this to red or whatever I want, and this to white, and there you go. So whatever you want to do, and now we're going to put this over it, 
and you see it gives it like a kind of a 3D effect. And now I want to make it bigger, so let's move things out of the way so I can click on the bottom, return to menu, go to format, and now we're going to scale the text big. And the text is at 118, do you see that? So now if I click on the smaller text here, it changes to what that size is, but we're going to change it to whoops, 118. And now it's the exact same size, and you can move it. There you go. And now the orb is easy to change. We don't want the green orb. We're going to hit the delete key, and we're going to go up to the spheres menu and we're going to find another orb that we like so we just have to scroll and scroll it was finally there you go there's and when you find it you click and you drag it onto the canvas and there you go now I don't want it over my text I want it behind the text so I'm gonna go up to the menu item and I'm gonna say send to back this menu item is really important because you can manipulate lots of things here send to back boom now it's behind this gradient. It, it's a cool effect, but maybe we don't want that. Now we want to take this ray beam background and move that to the back now. There you go. And there's our new logo. And now we just simply go up to the export menu. And we can export as a transparent background or a regular PNG or a JPEG. And there you go. And here's your new logo. Now, if we wanted to, to make this a transparent image with no background, we can click the ray beams here and hit the delete key on your keyboard, and then go under the modify, I'm sorry, the export menu and choose transparent PNG. And we can change this to transparency PNG. And a PNG format is a format that allows you to delete the background. JPEGs, you can't delete the background. PNGs, you can. So if we have a transparent PNG, save it. And here is your transparent logo. Notice there's this is in Photoshop, so I'm showing you the background here. But then you can take this and overlay it on any web page uh, with a pattern background or a color background, and it'll be nice and crisp and clean. So there you have it. And now if I wanted to save this for later use, I simply go under the file menu and choose save as my template. And I can name this anything I want. Red logo, whatever I say. Save it. It's telling me that it's been saved into the my templates folder, which will be when you go back to the selected template and you select your logo sets. These are different logo sets we're selling. So you have your normal sets here, but if you go to My Templates, you'll notice that your logo is there, and you can simply click it to call it back up. That, in a nutshell, is the Logo Creator version 6.0. Click and drag, and have